Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has made us laugh for years. He came into our homes weekly, coming through the window from the fifth floor, and now he's tearing up the mic on comedy stages across the world, the country. Please welcome Reginald Brubman Ballard to Sister Circle Live. What's up? Yeah, what's up? How y'all doing? How you doing? How you doing? Awesome. I'm awesome. awesome. lazy with these track legs right Track now. legs! <laughs> We've been running a race for a long time. How about it? How about it? Do you ever get tired? I mean, of course, Brahman was iconic as, uh, on Martin Lawrence's show. But do you ever get tired of it? And what is, does, your, nah, does your family say, Brahman? Nah, uh, um, no, my family don't. But right. everybody else in the street, when I'm in the airport, they are, Brahman, say it, man, feel flow. Right. It's cool, but it's better than being called Urkel. Oh, <laughs> God, yes. Yes. <laughs> Brahman is cool, right. little Brahman. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so I like it. It's all right. It's man. all right. And yeah. it keeps being you. Yeah, no yes. doubt. No doubt. Absolutely. See, the kids, still here. Absolutely. Yeah. And still looking yeah. good at the same time. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we know you from Martin and we, we mm -hmm. love Martin. I, I grew up on the show. It was absolutely amazing. But there was some turbulence there behind the scenes. And in uh, GQ, uh, Martin was interviewed and, of course, it came up as to why he actually left mm -hmm. the show. Mm -hmm. I mean, wh what, do, what are well, your thoughts well, on Well, you know, that? look, I never told nobody this. I'm going to tell you what I saw. This is what, what happened. Tisha had a little poodle on the set uh -huh. and you know Martin was rubbing a poodle and you know black people don't like poodles and dogs and lick them in the face mm -hmm. you know we don't play that mm -hmm. you know it's like an automatic reflex and dog lick Martin in the face Martin like poop nah, eh! and Tisha got upset and that started everything really yep because the tongue went in his mouth so he tongue kissed the dog yeah <laughs> <laughs> is, is that your way of getting out of this question? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Read yeah, between the lines. How about it? How about it? And then we will respect yes. that. Read yes, between the lines. Yes, yes. <laughs> Martin's been around for a very long time, and yeah. you know it's the gift that keeps keeps on giving. Yes. And you know uh, Eddie Murphy made a great comeback on SNL after oh, so yeah. much time uh, away, and you are still here with us after all this time. So tell us about the staying power and how do you stay relevant after all this time? Well, you just have to keep doing world. it. You just have to keep doing it. You know, keep just keep grinding. You know, sometimes I, I go, I be in clubs that may have 25 people. Yeah. You know, but you you, you go and work and you do what you do. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, you know, theater is my first love. I majored in theater. I love doing that. So, you know, whatever I could do, theater somewhere, uh, um, um, you know, stand up, I just do it because you have to, if, if you stop, Mm -hmm. You know, you get rusty. It's, it's yeah. like anything else, a yeah. muscle, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, it if, I, if I'm not on stage two weeks and I come back, I get hoarse. Oh, you wow. know, so mm -hmm. I have, yeah, so you have to stay, you have to stay relevant, you have to keep on doing it. Eddie, man, Eddie's on her, another level. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Eddie's like, you know, he, he he's beyond just the stand-up, you know what oh, I mean? Yes. Oh, yeah. He's, he's just brilliant. Yeah, he's he's going to always be around. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we thought John Witherspoon was going to live forever. Oh, I mean, man. we always, you know, you have those favorite comedians or favorite people. Of course, we lost him uh, later last year. Who were some of those people that you that looked at? Man, I, I man. know. So you looked up to him? And I, what about oh, others? You know, others? I, I came up with Richard Pryor mm -hmm. and uh, Rudy Ray Moore. Yes. You know, those cats, mm -hmm. man. Red Fox. Those are my favorite. San Francisco to this day is my favorite show. It's still good. You know, and, and then when Eddie came along, you know, man, I started like my wife, you know, her last name, Murphy. Uh -huh. So uh, her maiden name was Murphy. So she always tell everybody that Eddie is her cousin. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, Eddie, but, you know, those guys, you know, that would made me do, well, well what made me want to do what I want to do, I mean, what I'm doing now is Bruce Lee. I'm no. a big Bruce Lee fan. I'm, How, uh, really? The correlation. In the fourth grade, when I seen my first Bruce Lee movie, I knew that I wanted to be an actor. Uh -huh. I wanted to be a kung fu actor. Oh, oh, but no. my mother said it was too dangerous. Said karate too dangerous to play football. Uh, oh wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> well, we know wow. what's more dangerous yeah, now. Yeah, right? so, yeah. so football got me into this whole thing. You know, in college, you know, I majored in theater. And uh, true story, I told my friends, I said, "Yo, man, I finna go to Hollywood, hang with Stallone." And I said, "Next time you see me, I'll be on TV." And the true story, I went to Hollywood. The first movie I did was Stallone. And next wow. time I seen him, I was Are you, you spoke that? That's, that's, right. that's, that's, right. that's, that's, right. that. that's just how I went down. That's just how I went down. Yeah. Well, you're yeah. also doing your thing on Netflix. I'm a big, big yeah. Netflix yeah. person. Yeah, I got so to you have my a, childhood a hero. Yeah. <laughs> a family reunion Christmas? What yeah, is that about? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I work with uh, Richard Roundtree, man. Shaft. Mm. That's a child, that was my childhood hero. Him, Jim Brown, Jim Kelly, Fred Williamson. And I was such a big groupie on the show. I wore my Shaft shirt Were to the you really? And I told him, I said, hey, man, sign my shirt, man. He's like, man, I ain't signing your titty. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> 
I said, nah, man, don't mean it like that, man. Uh, well, now you're touring all over the world. Tell us about the different audiences you encounter. Uh, well, you know, when I go like Germany, places like Germany and Italy and stuff, is is basically for the uh, our troops. Okay. Oh, so, good. Yeah, good. so it's not, it's not like I'm, you know, doing it for the Germans or nothing. But it's funny because I, I, I was watching a movie over there in Germany. No, I was in Japan. No, it was Germany. I was watching a movie. Uh, Panthers, I was in Panthers, and they had it in German. Uh -huh. And I, I saw myself speaking in German. Right, right. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, what that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what I said? That's pretty cool. Right, though. right, yeah, good. Yeah. Well, we're always happy to have you here. Yeah. Reginald, hey, man, I don't even know your first name. No one hey, knows your first name. I don't know that is. Uh, no, no, his name is Bruh, Bruh. 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 Keep up with Bruh Man and his tour dates. Follow his Instagram at Bruh Man underscore five dash flow.